It's going to get a quick look at the upgrades. It's plus two carapace for the Zerg, plus two weapons for the Protoss. So that is going to balance out. And, yeah, Zerg able to push out into the center of the map. But are quickly turned back. We've got Defilers on the ground, and a Storm Drop, and a Concurrent DT Drop by Smaze the Protoss. Ouch. That was pretty. That's some very nice play by Smaze, who's able to do a ton of damage to the Zerg economy here. So there are these Defilers, but the Defilers kind of like the High Templar. They're the force multipliers of the Zerg army, and very, very powerful ones at that. But there isn't the economy right now to keep producing a large army for the Zerg, so those Defilers are going to be able to multiply a lot less force as the Protoss is now pushing out off of those 10 gateways of production if there aren't even more still. It's a second forge upgrading armor, plus three weapons is nearly done. This expansion has been hidden, but it hasn't been used. There are just some drones idling there. And now some storms across this ramp and some swarms to try to hold it for the Zerg. Dark Swarm against Protoss is powerful, make no mistake. Not necessarily as much against Terran, but for Zergs, um, while it does do very well against this Dragoon heavy army composition, it also just makes a real like bullseye target to throw psionic storms down onto. Although Zerg's able to push this back, the advantage has still got to be with Protoss here, who's just got the the greater economy and production capacity. And here, look, the Zerg player, down to 50 food, and is droning up to try to replenish his, um, to try to replenish his army. The Protoss, meanwhile, is on 136 food, and could probably just walk in right now without all that much difficulty. And if he knew the, uh, the extent of the damage that he's done to the Zerg, he probably would do exactly that. But he can also just afford to wait for another couple of rounds of reinforcements or to go for more shuttle shenanigans and take a fourth and a fifth base with a double expand. I mean, the Protoss can afford to do all of this. He's sitting on nearly 2,000 minerals and 2,000 gas, whereas the Zerg has got a ton of gas but no minerals to keep putting out an army and is resorting to just massing lings just to have something to throw in front of this Dragoon-heavy army of the of the Protoss, Smace. We've got some decent dark swarms on the bridge, a nice snipe of that observer, but psionic storms all over those lurkers going to clear that out. And now there's just this huge Protoss army sitting outside of this bridge, and um, Smace is just the one with all of the options here. He's building up toward being maxed. He's got the stronger economy. It's micro lapsing a little bit here. He really could be doing more to protect these units, but he's also trying to you know keep up with his macro and get these expansions rolling and just cement his exa cement his advantage. I mean, he could probably have just made a break there, especially if he um, if he altered his composition a little bit. After those, um, after those economic harassments, it's going to be really difficult for Harlequin to keep making Lurkers um, or Hydralisks, so the Dragoons are going to be a little bit less necessary. Um, going for a bit more of a tilt towards Zealot Archon would probably be a pretty effective way to just deal with these Dark Swarms. Um, on the other hand, let's just check the Defiler Mound if I can find it, see if um, Plague is on the way up. Yeah, that's researching now. And plague, at this point, probably not enough to uh, to keep the Zerg in it, but you know, probably couldn't hurt as long as the Defilers are able to consume enough. Weakening this Protoss ball, probably a good idea. We've got a Defiler and a few Zerglings moving across the top of the map. May try to take down an expansion with a quick Dark Swarm raid here, and. That's not a bad plan for the Zerg, but the Zerg has some bigger problems closer to home. Now there are more Zealots in the army, 
and these storms are clearing out a lot of what's under the swarm. I'm c still kind of surprised that Smace isn't committing these um, these attacks a bit further, um, or just, well, maybe he's waiting for a whole bunch of reinforcements. All right, finally there's some Archons on the field, and they're going to be able to clean these Zerglings up before they take this expansion out. It's really looking to see that before or some more committal use of the Zealots, that's actually a lot more Lurkers than I thought that uh, Harlequin had. And Harlequin has got this fourth base up, and he's managing to get a few drones in. He's managed to grow his uh, food supply a little bit, but he's still 100 food behind. So, Smace does really have everything that he needs to, uh, to win the game, especially now that he's added some Archons to his army and might have even more still. This defiler is going to be taken down. And what is the Zerg going to be doing? Zerg has to be panicking, but actually seeming to have uh, seeming to have fended the worst of this off for now. Zerg player taking the liberty of droning up over at his third base. He's looking going to look to resaturate his bases. Well, Protoss seems to have caught on to the fact that there's a base up here, and there is no sign of a Nidus network anywhere, so the Protoss could just walk right into that. I just said Nidus network, thinking StarCraft II, although technically I suppose a number of Nidus canals would constitute that in Brood War as well. All right, Protoss is attacking. Zerg not even trying to defend that. He's going to go for a counterattack at these um, at these new bases of the Protoss. The cannons are going to get up just in time, but I mean, even if the Zerg does take this out, will he have done enough? Storms all over everything. Wow. That is brutal. That defiler is not going to really show up in time to help very much. And these lurkers are taken out too. This has to be the GG moment. There's nothing left for the Zerg player on 50 supply. The Protoss has to be pushing maxed. 197. There is just no way that there are going to be enough units to defend this uh, defend this monster attack off. Look at this brown um, this brown set of blobs moving across the map. It's not just one blob. There are so many units here. Um, and now there are finally enough zealots to deal with the Dark Swarms. GG from Harlequin. We're going to go on to Game 3. Thanks very much for watching. This is Image signing off for now.